Why do joysticks drift? Your modern controllers from Microsoft and PlayStation use potentiometer joysticks. The flaw with these joysticks is that the wiper, which rubs against the resistive pad, which measures how much you move the stick, degrades with use, which alters these measurements and leads to stick drift. TLDR, they aren't very durable. The product sheet for these joysticks mention a life of 2 million cycles. Engineers found that they made 100 cycles a minute while playing Modern Warfare. So if you play 3-4 to four hours a day, that's about 3-4 to four months before your joystick develops stick drift. The funny thing is that this this isn't some unsolvable problem. Almost 30 years ago, the Sega Saturn 3D controller used Hall Effect sensors in their joystick, which are more durable. The N64 controller used an optical encoder. No stick drift, but that controller had a failure in material durability. More recently, the Steam controller tried trackpads mixed with gyro controls. So why are potentiometer sticks still used in $70 to $200 controllers? Well, they're dirt cheap, and when you get stick drift, unless you have a modular controller, you have two options. This or this.